hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and uh we have been off for the past one year plus i think and uh yeah we're back we're back i apologize for being absent because um the channel was just empty and uh, it was just um the old stuff that were there that remained there and um, I sincerely apologize to the YouTube community for taking a long break and uh, yeah we are back and let's kick things off okay we'll be transforming this picture into this artwork right now yeah this artwork and uh, it's gonna be fun so let's get right into it and um, as we know we have to open photoshop because it's we are actually using photoshop for the design yes photoshop photoshop and uh we are going to file and <coughs> sorry about that file new and uh, my artwork dimensions what i use for my artwork mainly we have the 1080 by 1080 and we have we have the 1080 by 1350 yeah and this is what i mainly use for portrait designs and actually that is actually the size on Instagram we have three sizes on Instagram yeah I believe so and no I think so <laughs> but then I believe you can check on the previous videos I, I explained that on um, yeah that video down there yeah that one so let's go we're gonna use 1080 by 1350 and resolution 300 rgb 8 bit white background oh okay then we create so we're gonna have something like this and just gonna zoom out by pressing ctrl minus to see how the interface is just like this okay so we have the whole files in a folder which we are going to share after this tutorial and um, you can use that for your project with the resources available in the folder yeah it's gonna be on the link this link yeah that link <laughs> okay so let's um, continue so we have this folder um, we have all the resources we used I know they might seem odd because yeah how do all these things lead to the design itself well we're gonna find out so we have um, this picture this picture and these photos so we're gonna start from the first stage the first stage was that we had this photo and this photo was actually downloaded from Facebook yeah facebook and there is one thing we know about facebook photos is that it's normally not clear fact yes because facebook has a huge storage so they have to maintain the sizes of each photos posted online so you might upload a photo of 8 megabytes and then you'll be surprised you download it it's gonna be like maybe 300 and something kilobytes or maybe 500 kilobytes uh, depending but then Facebook has to reduce the quality to maintain their steady uploads on the platform yeah if you understand that so we have this and we actually want to increase the pixels because the pixels of the photos are kind of low so now I want to introduce you to something we I use mostly for doing this and it's called to pass gigapixel AI it's not lensa AI it's not 
Dawn AI. It is Topaz Gigapixel AI. So what does this Gigapixel do? Okay, so firstly, we're gonna drag it inside the Gigapixel AI, and we're gonna wait for it to do its magic. Um, AI does magic. I think so. Uh, yeah, so you can see the difference between this photo and this photo. Now the first one shows you the original photo and the one on your the one on your left shows you the original photo and this one shows you the one that has been affected by the Gigapixel AI. So what you do next is that you save it. Yep, you gotta save it. You save it and then you put it in a folder. I think we're gonna change the folder. A couple of time we're just gonna go straight to saving it. Okay, so we wait for it to complete. Yep, the PKA. It has completed. Please close it. Yes, please close it. <laughs> you never know what can happen. Okay, so we uh we have the photo and we're gonna drag it into the folder too. Yep. Okay, so we have this background. Yes, this background, which we'll be using for the design. And um, if you notice the background, this is just the background for the design. We're just gonna drag it to fill the space. Yep, like this. Ah, okay, press enter. And then we right click, we go to, oh, it's already in a smart object form. My bad. So nextly, next, 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 next we go to filter and we go to blur, we go to Gaussian blur and this is extremely too much so we go to 10, 10 will be okay, press enter and then we bring the photo, yeah the photo, we bring the one we've updated and you can see the difference in megabytes. This one has 6.66 MB and this one has 353 kilobytes. What an upgrade. And you can see how the difference is clear. Wow, this is sharp. Okay, so we're gonna close this and then we're gonna drag this inside here. Yeah, we got the photo. So what next? We want to remove the background. Um, easy way to remove the background without using your pen tool. You just go to select, yes, subject. You wait for Photoshop's AI to select only the subject, which, yep, which it does very perfectly well. You can zoom in to see how it actually took out the background perfectly well and then you just come here to your vector you click on it and voila you have this cool cool so we have the photo here like this and for the next step we're going to what we're gonna do yep we're gonna just adjust it and you know just make it feel welcome home yeah okay cool cool and then we have this photo so when you have this we are going to if there are any edges maybe there's a mistake you can actually just correct it by clicking on the mask which is the, the mask here yeah. that's the mask layer mask actually so you can use your brush when you press B your brush comes out you click on this um, tool right here it's the brush tool it's where you adjust your tool your brush sorry it's where you adjust your brush so your brush is right there you can um, put more hardness or you can change it into soft brush but we need the hard one for this point yeah so you press X what does X do X not S X or ox why they call it <laughs> so when you press that X you can actually change your foreground and background color and your foreground and background color for your mask is normally white and black 
because it's um, actually deals with visibility of that layer so it tell it's like telling the layer that I want to operate on visibility which means I want some parts of it to show and I want some part of that place to be off and it helps in knowing what to do now now you can see that the layer is having the white um, picture here so it shows that yeah this is white this is black so this is white and this is black well let's see how it does you see now because it's actually the layer it's black and it's revealing the white right so I'm gonna use the white one on top and the black one underneath so I'm gonna go like this and you know just adjust that thing a little bit to show the hand well okay that's it then look at the places maybe they have other edges too uh, okay you can just start there uh yeah okay cool cool, cool. then we'll go back good 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 so we have this and um what we do next is that we're gonna bring the flowers yep so bring this flowers here drag it in down like this somewhere around here increase the size yeah just wanted to increase increase the size of the flower okay I believe here will be good you duplicate it by pressing ctrl J press ctrl T to transform you decrease the size like this you bring it here like this so everything you're doing now is to make sure you're adjusting your design to give it that feel yep and then you drag this now there's another way to duplicate it's you can press ctrl J to duplicate the layer and you can also hold on alt and then you left click yeah left click not right click left click on this object and the object you want to duplicate and then you drag that's another way you can also do it on the layer too yeah you can just press alternate and you drag like that still the same okay guys um, yeah so first of all we want to save what we're doing so far so I'm gonna um, name it bed day art yeah then enter save please save your work anytime you're doing anything in Photoshop because losing a file it's risky like really risky very very risky you don't want to miss your file yep so risky so we have this three here and uh, what we want to do next is that we want to make the artwork like color blend like we want the whole thing to be the color grading of the whole design thing that's the major um, factor you have to think about here okay so the first thing we do is that I come here right and then I come there are two or three more than more than now lots of things you can do to actually use for color grading so what I do is I go to use saturation and then you just um, maybe use the yellow which for the picture and then you can see this it goes like this and like this but then if it doesn't work if the use saturation does not work this is what we do we come here and then we we'll go to this and then we we'll go to color balance right now this color balance we come here and then you can increase it like this now if you can see how the thing works Now we're using the mid tones, yeah. And mid tones are actually looking fine now. You can see how the thing works with the mid tones, yes. Right? You can see how the color has actually changed before and after. You can see that it has actually kind of like it's now suitable with the color in the background. So this is our first step of adding a um, little bit of beauty to the image itself. And the next one will be for the flowers. The flowers are kind of like more yellowish than the background. 
so what we do in this case is that we come to the flower the first one and then we come here to hue saturation right and then use saturation we're gonna go to yellow because the, the flowers are actually yellow yeah so we're gonna press alt come to the middle of both of them which is the hue saturation and flower and then you come to the middle here you see the symbol then you just click on it and it's gonna be affecting only the flower okay so we come here we go to yellow and then you just make it darker a bit yeah something like that yeah I think we should just go for uh, something like a number mm. Mm, do something like this okay that's um, kind of fine and then you can um, mm, okay that's six okay now we'll come here, the same thing for this, same thing for this, okay, and now what we want to do is that we want to make them smart objects, so I click here, after selecting both of them, change smart objects, smart objects, and moving this one, um, smart objects, okay, so we have three smart objects, okay, now this is where the game or twist okay so we have this three here and then we want now what we want to do is that we want this one one of them to be at the back okay so i press alt drag it like this to the back if you didn't get that like i said just let's do it again you press alt press alt click here drag it to the back of the image right ctrl T drag it upward like this and then you adjust it to fit okay just adjust it to fit okay I think this one will be good uh, let's see center yeah okay, you drag it up a bit yeah okay cool so what I want to do next is that we want to use our eyes as the camera okay let's be our camera now now when you're taking a picture and uh, we want to focus on some things okay so now these are flowers everywhere what and which of them do you want to be blurry now when you're taking a picture when you touch your camera on your phone you're gonna see that some parts of the picture will be blurry mostly when you're in portrait mode or maybe you're in normal photo mode that's what we want to see in the design so what we do next is gonna affect that part of it and this is how we do it okay so we have this photo here we have this and this and this the three flowers in front what we do is that we come here and then we say this is where we are taking this is our focus right this is our focus okay so we come here to the three flowers and then we come to filter with the Gaussian blur and then we're gonna blur those three flowers now we want to copy the effect on this remaining two flowers on top you press alt now you use your left click you drag to each of those two which is the one on top and the one here like this now all of them they are blurry in the sense that the we want to focus on her and this flower here so those two wouldn't be blurry so you should understand why we normally do it like that you get the point yeah i believe so you get the point so know that it's because of how you see through your camera that's how you use that effect we don't just use the effect and like blurry 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 so you have to know why you're using that blurry effect and it's looking through a camera lens basically okay so now this is one trick that we all use it's called um, using the background as your color source yeah using background as your color source okay so what I do mostly is that we 
press alt again click and drag to the top now this is I put it on top of the layers because I want to do something with it now you all know that you can edit an effect in Photoshop yes you just have to double click on the Gaussian blur and then increase it now what does it show you it shows you that it shows you just colors yeah if you increase the Gaussian blur effect on a photo it shows you the colors that that um, um, photo is made of and this is the color it's made of you can see yellow kind of um, brown and so on and even white at the sides okay so and this is what we do to get the kind of perfect color um, grade so I click here on normal which is your blend mode and then you go to soft light you have soft light you have overlay you have highlight you have vivid light you have linear light but then you can see all this ones just gives you different different settings but we use soft light mostly and you can see how the color c pops up right so what you do after that is that you just decrease this a bit yeah you decrease it a bit you decrease it a bit perfect okay so we have the perfect color matching now for the image now you can see that even you can see this red thing here you can feel that it's coming from this spot here and then the light here is coming from this spot here you feel me yeah you feel me I know you feel me <laughs> okay so we have this and the next thing we want to do is we want to you know add the remaining things and how to add those remaining things you can see the background here the background here is that we come here we come down now again yeah we come down again something like that and then we want to add a pattern okay so you come to this place here which is your adjustment layer you click here and then you go to patterns so this is the default part pattern that normally comes up anytime you click on this but when you click here you go to legacy patterns uh, I believe everyone has this legacy patterns if you click on it you go down to web patterns now you have different web patterns but we mo I, I mostly use this one this one two three four five six seven eight eight one yeah the eight one and uh, it's kind of cool you leave the settings like this and then you click here you go to let's see which one will be good for this flyer mm, no it's not fair okay I think we're almost there yeah I believe color burn will be nice okay just have to reduce it a bit reduce it reduce it reduce it we don't want the thing to show that much get the fact just want it to be on the background to just add like a texture to the background okay so we have this and what we do next is that we start doing this we actually put them all together which is we come here we're gonna press alt ctrl shift e and it brings out a perfect output but now we want to edit that output so what we do is that you right click convert to a smart object that one and then you go to filter camera roll okay so the camera roll um yeah and uh, also we uh, actually having uh, we had a sale of the we launched yeah good news we actually launched the Camaro presets pack last year yeah the launching was a success we were able to get sales and people have been dropping in testimonies so you can actually purchase it using the link in the description and you can also reach out to me on Instagram and Facebook and also WhatsApp using the links 
in the description so we are going to go to when you're adding your camera roll for this we're going to try to create a new one so we're going to add textures clarity a bit clarity yeah not that much so we're going to add a bit of clarity to it and then we're going to add details details will be happening yeah not too much but, uh, somewhere like this yeah that would be good now we're gonna come to basic and then we'll add more sharpening to it i mean texture <laughs> my bad okay i think that would be good yeah now you can see how this in it so you can put off and on you can see the difference okay so we want to add a light effect which we normally add so the light effect actually here it's also in in the google drive so we want to put the light exactly where the light is coming from so you have to put it at that same spot which is this place here you put it there press enter and then what do you do next you go to screen 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 keep it in mind screen in screen yes screen that is screen you put the light here so it takes that place that the lights coming from okay so um, now there are different ways you can put the light you can actually put it there just increase it yeah okay okay to give it that feel yeah okay that's cool right there now we actually are there we're good to go and the next step would be adding yeah next step would be adding a gradient okay so why do we add gradients um gradients um it actually gives us a pathway that we can actually you know type something on the design because when a design is too bright you can actually put a text that people can see so but when you put a gradient maybe a black um thing underneath it actually helps people to see your design you can't just put a white design and put a white text on the white nah that's odd so <laughs> so um you just add a new layer and then you press g or you click on this it gives you a gradient now you click on this and then you adjust it you put the blacks change the color to black click on here change the color to black press enter now these are words this is our opacity of the design so for you to get a gradient fading you have to choose one to be 100 they want to be zero okay so this is zero and this is 100 press ok and then you take it from the bottom to the top not from top to bottom click on it yeah so you do it like that yeah so it gives you this gradient thing underneath yeah something like that okay so when you're done like this what you do next is that you put your text which we are just gonna copy and paste from the design okay so let's go
okay um, we just have to copy the text and paste it here okay so um, I'm just gonna show you this the rectangles okay so how these rectangles were actually um, done was that you draw a rectangle now we're gonna just do it on top of the design itself you take a rectangle you draw the rectangle like this and then the settings pops up here so you can carve the rectangle here good yeah rectangle and then on the rectangle you can just add the mask the layer mask and then you press B which is your brush and then you reduce the hardness and make it soft then you increase the brush by pressing this bracket here yeah that bracket displayed on the screen and please whenever you're using this brush tool put off your caps lock because if you put on your caps lock it's just gonna show you this cross here so you put off your caps lock reduce the size and then you press remember what I told you it's in white right so when it's in white your foreground color which is this one here should be black so you press X which is your X yeah and then you press like this and you can see how this was created so yeah that's it just drag it there and uh, just press ctrl T you can drag it down and you can see that that's exactly what we're talking about okay so when you're done you've gotten to this level you can add some additional spice to it you can add this light effect which was added in the design you can just drag it in put it here now you can you you know put the screen then you reduce the light a bit you know make it not so obvious and you press ctrl j ctrl t to drag it anywhere you want to the design ctrl j ctrl t anywhere you want you know just to give it that spice and yeah you can actually just do anything you want to do just um make it look fun just write it around the design you know it gives it like uh, a folding look you know and um if you're done here you can actually use alt ctrl shift e right click go to smart object convert smart object and then you go to filter you can also add more you know spiciness to the design and by spiciness i mean you can also add texture then if you don't want to it's fine and you can go to effects effect you can add your grain that grain gives you that um, sandy kind of look but then you can just add a little grain and let me just say about um, three to five then you come to detail sharpening yeah and you press ok one more thing if you want to add you know spice that there's still more spice you can add you can also add this uh, sparkle effect which you drag into the design and um, yeah you press enter you come here and you go to screen right when you go to screen you drag it up then you use your brush tool which is your vector you use your vector first you press B and remember it's in white so your foreground must be in black so you do it like this like this like this and what you do now is that you click on this layer press ctrl M for your curve then you make it black a bit see bring it down and you can see those sparkles yeah that's how you add them just bring it down like this press ok ctrl T then you increase the size of the sparkles 
like this yeah make it look as if something is falling down straight like this and then you can just yeah voila oh good this is how you can create this thank you for sticking to the end of this tutorial um, I believe to have more requests because we will actually have a YouTube playlist which we have you can also add more requests to the playlist um, and we believe that from time to time we fulfill those requests thank you for sticking to the end of this video and hope you learned something from this tutorial thank you see you next time peace out Oh, 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 oh